this is another video of ffmpg so uh, in this tutorial we will be learning what are frames what are the different types of frames like uh, we will be knowing that in a vid video is made up of frames so what are these frames and uh, what exactly each frame contribute to what are the types of frames in practice so i have a video with me it's a pretty good quality video this it's a 4k video that i have been taken on my iphone now we will be examining uh, the frames on this video and also like see what are the different types of frames that we uh, can find in this video so to do that we must install ffmpeg first on our system and uh, i think in my previous tutorials i would have shown you how to install ffmpeg on your operating system so i'm using ubuntu here interfacing this windows wsl now so if you see i have installed ffmpeg on my computer and so also i have the video here jokefalls.mov so let's quickly first examine the command uh, that uh, i have over here so we will be using an ff probe basically it would have been installed when you installed ffmpg so we will be going through a list of frames and also once we get the list of frames in this video we will be interested in what type of frame it is or you can say what type of picture it is a picture type you can say so to do that let me first quickly execute this command over my terminal so when i enter this you see uh, i'm going to stop it here if you see there is an picture type i or you can say frame type i there is frame type b and there is frame type p so let us try to find more and uh, no so these three are the major ones that i can see here so what are these types what are these frames i frame b frame and uh, p frame so what is i frame and why is this frame so important i frame we can call it as an in intra frame or uh, you can call it as a leader frame it is used as a compression method by mpeg standard now this frame it contains all the data like how what is the uh, compression algorithm and what and all the contents how the frame should be represented so it contains all the data so the compressor software or the compressor algorithm is interested in reading this frame it won't read this b frames or it won't read this p frames it is interested in this intra frame because it has the information how the frame should be represented how the frame should be de decompressed or decoded and should be represented so that's why i frames are also called as leader frames another important factor is the more number of i frames the better the quality of the video okay so if you see uh, in the previous uh, example that i showed you there were multiple i frames in the intervals so there were p b p b and uh, between the uh, between such intervals there was i frame present so the more the number of i frame i frames are present the more data is represented so re to represent more data you need more space that's the reason why if the quality of a video is great it consumes a lot of space on the disk 